The idea of this video is to make you adept in mastering skills on how to easily identify the famous paintings and which artists do they belong to by clubbing the common styles together for the ease of memorizing. In this video, we will take up a few most important Indian painters and around 20 very important paintings from the exam point of view and see the similarities in their styles in order to make them easy for you to identify and learn. By the end of this video, we will take a short quiz as well to check out how much could you retain in your memory from this way of learning through our video so watch this very interesting session with full attention till the end hey future designers i'm palakakar khanna and you're watching me on the design ladder a stepway to your dream design college the first indian painter we are going to talk about today is raja ravi varma from the exam point of view this is the most important indian painter you must know about they can be a picture of this artist and you could be asked to identify his name or why is he famous for or you could be given one of his paintings and can be asked to identify the name of that painting and the artist it belongs to. So a quick trick or you can say a hint to identify his paintings would be his subject matter. He always made paintings around mythological characters, means characters from Ramayan or Mahabharat. In his own imagination, especially mythological women, so his paintings illustrated them in the most realistic and beautiful forms adorned with Indian traditional attires, detailed with traditional jewellery and accessories. His most famous paintings are Shakuntala, who is a mythological character of Mahabharat taking a thorn out of her, of her feet. Damianti, again a beautiful mythological character, princess of Vibhadra kingdom talking to a goose, a hunts. Vasantika, who is a goddess of Vasant season or spring season as he call it. Jatayu Vadham means Jatayu which was a divine bird in Ramayan who tried to save Sita during Sita Haran by Ravan. So you can see all of his paintings are very very easy to identify as they have a common typical Indian royal heritage feel with elaborated costume details, women with saris, bindis, illustrated typically in oil painting style. Another famous painting that might come in exam could be Galaxy of Musicians, where again the women from different cultures of India are sitting together in their traditional attires with their specific traditional instruments and playing with them. I hope now you would be in a position to easily spot a painting by Raja Ravi Verma. The next painter we are going to discuss today is Amrita Shergil. She is called the pioneer of modern Indian art and was a very influential woman born and raised in Hungary to a Sikh father and a Hungarian mother. Now she came to India and travelled to various states of the country and she was touched by the lives of poor people, their daily lives, their routines, their struggles and this led her to paint them on her canvas. She travelled to various parts of South India and other villages of the states before she died at a mere age of 28. And through this small journey, she painted masterpieces like South Indian villages going to a market. That's a daily life scene from her visit to South India. Ancient Storyteller, in which she showed a man telling stories to children in an old village and the architecture of the place and the surroundings are very well captured. Another daily life scene she has curiously observed was The Bride's Toilet, in which she showed a bride being prepared and dressed up for her wedding by a group of ladies. One of the most famous unnamed painting by her was The Self-Portrait of Hers, The Self-Portrait of Amrita Shergil. Another important painting is Mother India. This is a very famous painting by Amrita Shervil depicting the pain in the eyes of rural Indian family of a mother with her children. The silence on their faces and the struggles in their eyes is beautifully illustrated. Simply, three girls, Brahmachari, etc. are all Indian rural society based daily life based scenes, paintings depicting sad and rawness, unlike Raja Ravi Verma's subject that was totally mythological based rich Indian traditional paintings depicting beauty and royalty. Clear? I hope these two painters' paintings are very easy for you to distinguish and identify. Okay, let's move to the next painter. The next very important painter is M.F. Hussain. Makbul Fida Hussain, better known as M.F. Hussain, started painting cinema hoardings for his livelihood and eventually became one of the most internationally recognized and celebrated Indian artists, being awarded by Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan by Government of India. He was known for executing bold, vibrantly colored narrative paintings in a modified cubist style. Now, what is this cubist style? 
The word cubist is referring to cubism, which is a very famous art movement you must know, and that expresses each art form broken down into cubes and other geometric shapes. So Hussein's paintings are very easy to identify as you would notice the forms and the shapes are kind of simplified into more geometric shapes. You can also be asked in the exam who is the Pablo Picasso of India and the answer would be M of Hussein as Pablo Picasso was a Spanish artist who founded Cubism and hence M of Hussein is Pablo Picasso of India. His works mostly depicted empty faces, 2D flat geometric figures, more of abstract compositions with bold and dark brush strokes. Now let's discuss about the important themes of the subjects of MS Hussain's work that became very popular and could be asked in the exam. First is Mother Teresa. While his journey to Kolkata, he was impressed by dedication of Mother Teresa towards helping the poor and the children in need. He later painted various paintings symbolizing Mother Teresa depicting his white sari with blue border serving humanity endlessly. One of his famous painting is Mother Teresa in which he showed three idols of faceless Mother Teresa helping animals, children and needy and taking care of them. This painting was priced over 3 lakh 20000 dollars. Hussain had a huge affection for animals, especially horses, which were his favorite since childhood. So he extensively depicted horses on his canvas with vibrant hues. One of his famous paintings was the horse that looked back, which was auctioned for 1.3 crores. Another important theme of his paintings was Madhuri Dikshit. Yes, the artist was highly impressed by the talent and the grace of beautiful actress and decided to paint her down on the canvas. This was amongst the most appreciated as well as controversial paintings by the artist. Hussain did not restrict himself to painting canvases, but he dabbled into multitude of media such as designing toys, wood, furniture, murals, graphic design prints, documentaries, short films. His first film Through the Eyes of a Painter won a Golden Bear award. Some of his other paintings that are easy to be associated with Hussain's typical cubist style and choice of colors are The Puppet Dancers, The Battle of Ganga Yamuna, The Sixth Seal, Shri Krishna painting, Bharat Mata painting and tribute to Hashmi. Now before we test how much you have instantly learned with us in this session we would request you to scroll down through various important playlists on our channel to unlock the treasure of videos made for you to level up your preparation and also consider subscribing to the design ladder channel if you wish to get notified for such videos every week also for the revisions of these videos we constantly do interesting quizzes and posts on our instagram and facebook page to keep you abreast with your preparation so it's very important to join us there now let's take a short quiz to learn how much have you learned with the session today Name the famous painters of each of the following paintings. And I am waiting for your answers in the comment section below. And also, if you have any queries or doubts, do write to me in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. Take care. Bye bye.